Hey guys. So we did a live stream on the Facebook page for Spectrum uh, a few weeks ago, and it was a Q&A for the new uh, Spectrum telemetry receiver, which is on the new Spectrum flight controller right now, and which is running a very early build of Race Flight 1. Um, so I, we teased the feature that um, developers for flight controllers could potentially implement on their flight controllers and I wanted to go over that in a little more detail. So we have a blank screen right now but I'm going to plug in the flight controller and the screen will be populated. So this is a screen that's um, being populated over telemetry from the flight controller and so the idea was that there's, there was no configurator for this early build of the firmware yet and I needed a way to test, thing and test things and set things up so I made an interface screen for telemetry to do that so right now I have it so we just do towards the inside with both sticks and we enter a programming mode so I can go down and change different settings. So for example, um, Race Flight has a new way of setting your board orientation and it's a two-step calibration process. The first is activate, the first process requires you to have the board level. So I'm gonna go into that setting and then go up to set it. And so it did the first calibration. You saw that value changed. Then I'm going into the second one and the second one requires you to tilt your board in the forward direction which for me is usually this way and you go up while you're in that menu and that turns into a one so that means your board is calibrated and that basically automatically sets the orientation for your board or your quad if it's already in the board so it won't matter which way you face the board or whether it's upside down or whatever in the quad, you just do this two-step process and it'll work. And of course, the other thing is PIDs. So you have your three axes and a filter setting they have there. Um, but I can go into the axes, for example, and cycle through that. And you'll see it'll have different values for each one. So I can stop at roll, for example, go back out of there go into one of these and change the values however I need to for tuning make quick adjustments and save oh hold on this is very early <laughs> or maybe I just have the stick too sensitive yeah so I could fly it there potentially and test it without saving but I, if it seems good to me, then I can land and save it. Or if I mess something up, I can just reboot it without doing save and it'll work. But in this case, I'll do save. And you can see it's 165, I think was one of the ones I changed on P. Let's power cycle it. Clear the screen. And try to plug this in with one hand. So you can see the values remain there. So that's just a little more detail of one of the features that can be done with the new telemetry receiver. Of course that depends on the developers of the flight controller firmware. So um, in this case I've done it on race flight. Um, but if you want it to work on your flight controller and it's not race flight then you better start begging the developers to get that done. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching.